That is awesome. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got the mystery packs from Walgreens. And I've wanted to do a video on these slash review for months, but I haven't been able to find it at all. But we got lucky with three of them today. So let's go ahead and get into this video right away, like now. Okay, so apparently you're supposed to look for vintage packs. This is an MJ Holdings product. So you see MJ Holdings right there. So vintage is very up to their interpretation. I don't believe anyone has actually pulled a first edition gym challenge, but hey, you know, there's always a chance. One thing I will caution is that the sides of these, you can actually peek a little bit and see a little bit of what uh, the pack artwork is. So I do advise you be careful if you're gonna buy these online. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this and hope for vintage seated packs in 1 in 10. So we got three of them. So I don't really know like what is considered vintage. Two MJ Holdings. So let's go ahead. Does this come out with it? No? Okay. Oh, we got a Darkness Ablaze and we also get a card. And let's see what the card is. A Skunk Tank. I feel like... I feel like MJ Holdings is trying to tell me something here. We got skunked with that. And we'll go ahead and get into this Darkness of Blaze. If we could pull that Charizard, that would be amazing. I did finally uh, complete all of the Charizards, um, starting with Darkness of Blaze, the Darkness of Blaze VMAX. So we got a Feebas, a Passamane, a Fletchling, a Wimpod, a Grimer, Dar Darumaka, and... A Crobat V, all right. I think this is a playable card. I'm not 100% sure on that, but you know, that's still a hit, so we'll gladly take that. And there is the code card if you guys play the game. Two packs left to go. Um, if these are all Darkness Ablaze, I'd be pretty upset. Pretty upset if they're all Darkness Ablaze. So hope that it's not uh, just all Darkness Ablaze. I feel like that's not really a vintage pack. Um, just because it's, I mean, still sword and shield, right? That's still sword and shield there. So let's go ahead and see what this is. If it'll come out. No? We're trying to make it suspenseful here. Oh, we got Evolving Skies. Okay, I'll gladly take that. And let's see what our card is. A Palkia from the 25-year celebration. Okay. Hey, Evolving Skies, there's always a chance to pull amazing uh, alternate arts from this. I'm okay with getting that. Honestly... Like evolving right now is so pricey. You're pretty much breaking even if you get an evolving. I don't think MJ Holdings accounted for that when they threw these in here. Like who would know that it, it would pop off this much. So let's go and see if we got anything. So we got a Patillil, a Pikachu, Pumpkaboo, Rufflet, Lotad, Aroma Lady, and our last card here is going to be an Apple Ton. Uh, I gotta say, man, Evolving Cries is a legitimate thing for this <laughs> set. But hey, it's always about the chase. You can't, you can't have a set with too high pull rates because, like, the chase is probably the funnest part in terms of being a collector. Sure, you can buy it, but it's just not the same. It's not the same as when you pull it. I'm sure all of you know that. So our last pack here, we've got. <laughs> Darkness ablaze again. Oh my gosh. And a chub chew. Oh man, this is <sighs> This is sad. I think a lot of earlier ones had a bunch of fusion strike. I honestly would have taken that over Darkness Ablaze. But hey, we could still pull a Charizard, right? So we got a Larvesta, Hippopotus, Golet, a Skitty, Dino, Bunnaby, and our last card. Hold on to your horses. It's a thievel. <laughs> okay, that is it for this video. There is the code. If you guys see these, I mean, there's always a chance to get something nice. I don't think you're going to get a gym challenge like it falsely advertises. But there's always a chance to get some amazing packs. Let me know what you got in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. Love you all. Peace.